I'd like to whisper to the president that the Middle East is not just all about leaders. I know there's always a tendency to deal with strong men and to do deals and to have achievable results in bilateral relationship. But the truth is the Middle East is made up of very colorful societies. It's important for him to also touch societies and cultures and try to reach the people. I think I would tell him that, Mr. President, some of your allies in the Middle East are financing terrorism. If you want to do something, if you want to eliminate ISIS, it's not by bombing ISIS. It is by one part of it is by uh, stopping and cutting the finance. I will tell him, uh, you know, uh, privately, which is go after radical ideology, go after uh, Political Islam. Political Islam, I don't mean Muslims, I don't mean modernism, I don't mean those who believe even in Sharia. I mean those who are using religion uh, to gain a uh, place in, in politics or in society. Help Iraq fix its problem and help the Kurds uh, gain their rights uh, through accommodating their aspirations with their neighbors. But there is a Syrian people of 24 million who feel Syrian and want to remain Syrians. That is their identity. They're not Sunni or Alawi. They don't want a Sunni stan, an Alawi stan, and a Christian land, and a Druze land, or Kurdish land for, for that matter. The Syrians don't feel but Syrian. And we would like to see our country come back to us liberated in one piece. Uh, I believe his um, uh, extremely useful conversation uh, with uh, His Majesty King Abdullah II of Jordan uh, centered on the fact that the Arab-Israeli conflict, the Palestinian-Israeli uh, conflict in, in, in particular, is uh, the core issue in the, uh, in, in the Middle East. And therefore, it is crucial that we find a solution to, uh, to this lingering uh, conflict. And if I were to presume to whisper something, it would be, you know, carry on, Mr. President. Uh, this um, issue is all important uh, to bring about uh, regional and global peace and security. Uh, I would say to the President, I appreciate your efforts regarding the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, but you're going to be frustrated. Uh, you're not going to bring about final settlement. There is no chance. This is my personal experience. And uh, of course, you might try, but at the end, don't blame Israel. The main challenge, education and the way that Abu Mazen promotes terror financing terrorists, the prisoners, the families of the Shahids, and of course, the all education curricula promoting terror. And my advice to the president, when you are working on achieving peace between Israel and the Palestinians, don't listen to the leaders that are many politicians sharing with you that they have political problems in the compromises that are needed. Peace is achievable. It depends on you. There is a lot more happening in the Middle East than what Fox News tells you. Not all news are bad, and we shouldn't discourage everyone by focusing on the bad news all the time. People need hope.